Hello, I'm Mayor Sean Spiller, coming to you with our weekly update for March 25th, 2021. First, I want to again take a moment to really thank our health department for the hard work that they've been doing uh, throughout the course of this pandemic. I really also want to give a shout out to the program that they've been engaging in to get into our uh, high senior dense population buildings to try and vaccinate uh, homebound seniors, others who are having difficulty getting out to get the vaccine. Uh, program has been a great success in continuing. Uh, I want to thank Sue Portuguese and her staff and her team uh, for the great work that they're doing. So a big thank you to start this out. Specific with our COVID update, uh, as of uh, March 20th, we've seen 85 uh, new cases, 17 of which were probable. That's for the week prior. Uh, the new cases that we had, we thankfully had zero hospitalizations and zero new deaths. Our active cases currently are at 100 and 39. With regard to vaccinations, the county is currently receiving approximately 12,000 vaccines for the week. That's what they had for this week. They're hoping to see that number increase slightly so we can get more vaccinations and hopefully start to see those numbers uh, trending down. We know that New Jersey is currently seeing uh, somewhat of an increase in the number of COVID cases. So vaccinations are important and all the other safety measures are important as well. Currently, about 22.5% of all of the county residents have received at least their first dose of the vaccine. Uh, that's, of course, great news. We know the additional uh, stock of vaccine coming online with Johnson & Johnson and other pieces is going to be a big help, so that's good. I uh, also want to note that uh, in addition to our partnership with Mountainside Hospital to get vaccinations for our educators, the county has opened up specific slots as well, uh, and they were able to do 2,225 vaccinations this week for educators. So opportunities there as well, which is certainly uh, much needed. A breakdown in the shots, uh, the county primarily does Moderna shots. Uh, they've administered currently 169,325 Moderna shots. Uh, Johnson & Johnson, uh, we've seen 2,215 uh, Johnson & Johnson shots vaccinated, um, and we're at approximately uh, 62, 63,000 uh, people who have been fully vaccinated at this point. Uh, so again, things moving in the right direction, but we have to remain vigilant, especially with the challenges that we're facing in, in terms of a spike uh, or an increase here in New Jersey. Uh, those vaccinations primarily are occurring at our service site, which is in the uh, Old West Orange Kmart. Uh, again, that's uh, 235 Prospect Avenue. Uh, anyone who is able to get their appointment and get over there, that's great. If you're having trouble um, getting there, certainly reach out to us at the township for transportation needs. We are offering transportation services and helping uh, seniors or others who need it to get there. Uh, the county also has a program. Uh, they are transporting you know, 600 people or so a week as well. Uh, but any questions that you have around vaccinations specific to the county, you can call 973-877-8456, 973-877-8456. As always, go to EssexCOVID.org, EssexCOVID.org. That's the site to schedule an appointment, uh, to, to, to look at any information that you may need. Uh, to look at testing locations, to schedule testing appointments. Uh, as we note, Essex continues with their testing. It's a good idea for anyone who so desires to get tested. Um, plenty of opportunities there. You can sign up at EssexCOVID.org. Uh, testing here in Montclair is also widely available. We've got it at the YMCA. You can reach out there if needed and, and would like to schedule a test. We've got same-day testing, which is offered uh, in the parking lot at 300 Bloomfield Ave. You can reach out there. Uh, or show up there and get tested. Both of those spots are offering both the uh, PCR testing and the rapid testing. Uh, rapid testing is usually about an hour and get it back. PCR testing, about a 72 hour turnaround. Um, they are taking insurance. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, everyone's encouraged to get, uh, get tested um, as, as needed. Uh, in addition to that, the county continues its food distribution events. Uh, the next one will be for today, the 25th at 9 a.m. Um, at the Essex County uh, Field Golf Course in Belleville, New Jersey. That's rain or shine, so uh, show up and uh, get, get food as needed. Um, and, and of course, these continue to occur, and any information around those, again, you can go to EssexCOVID.org, um, or of course, uh, reach out to the county or reach out to us for, for assistance in those areas. So uh, for this one, just uh, some brief update on the numbers and where we are at. Uh, continue to ask that everyone remains vigilant. As I noted before, we've seen New Jersey numbers increase, uh, so we've got to make sure we stay masked uh, and, and engage in best practices to stay safe as we uh, you know, enter the phase where we're seeing more and more vaccines come online and more people uh, be able to get them. So 
Uh, we're getting there, but we've got to remain vigilant, and that uh, is an important step for all of us uh, as a community. So thank you very much. As always, reach out with any questions. You can send them to questions at seanspiller.com. That's questions at seanspiller.com. Happy to answer them directly or, or share them here if we see broad, broad questions on a specific topic. Uh, with that, stay well, and I'll talk to you soon.